welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an interesting and fun video. We are doing a thrift with me video and I'm going to be taking you along to some of my favorite thrift stores. So if you're just interested in seeing the thrift haul, I'm gonna put this timestamp right here so you can go ahead and fast forward to that. So feel free to do so if you're so inclined. Honestly, I'm just really excited to go shopping. Like I feel like I need it. So without further ado, let's go in. So guys, welcome to my Goodwill, AKA the bougie thrift store. So first up, when I always arrive, I always go to the wood slash brown section. They tend to color coordinate, and this is where I usually find most of my boho items. While I was browsing, I found these sconces, which were really cool, but I didn't end up getting them. It's funny because normally I don't have any regret of buying things or not buying things, but now that I'm watching back the footage, I'm seeing so many things that I wish I picked up and didn't even notice. So that's a bummer. I'll blame it on the thousands of things I had to do this day though. So once in this aisle, I found this wooden bowl and I was so in love. Like this is actually a very small store. It doesn't even have a furniture section. So the fact that I find gems at this place is very amazing to me. I also found some baskets here, which normally I don't find baskets here. I think it's just because of how popular they are, but I must've come on a good day. So my eye was also drawn to this bowl because of the marbling. It ended up being plastic though, so I wasn't really interested in getting that. If it was stone or ceramic, I would have been all over it. Also, what a cute shaped bottle. I am kicking myself that I didn't get it, but at the time I wasn't actually gravitating towards any glass and now I wish I was. And as always, I always look at the frame section. I'm always looking for old vintage frames. I looked at this picture and I was actually looking at the frame. I kind of wish I stopped to actually look at the picture though, cause it's kind of amazing. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. And I bet if I go this weekend, it won't be there. Okay, but lamps are like my new obsession. Like I don't know what started it, but I can't stop myself from buying lamps, even though I don't need them. So the big one, I was actually a little hesitant on. However, I still put it in my cart. And when I am hesitant on things, I put them in my cart if I can, just because of the fact that I don't wanna miss the opportunity to lose it if someone else picks it up. So that's just a little tip for you. I also found these wicker storage boxes. I was looking at them. I was kinda interested, but kinda not. But the price did it for me. Like 20 bucks for this, thank you. Ooh, that was a lot. Ah! Whew. It's actually slim pickings there. So right now I'm going to go to my Old Faithful, hoping that we get some good finds like we did the last time. So let's go ahead and drive over there. And welcome to my local Salvation Army, AKA Old Faithful. So in the homeware section, I was just perusing and found this cute little speckled pitcher and I thought it was really cute, so I grabbed it. I also am so happy about this find. I found what looks like a magazine rack and it's just the wood that I want and I was just like, yes, I'm getting it, but I was actually very surprised by the price of it. I'm always amazed at the things that I find there, just really unique pieces. And I just, I don't know. I don't know why people don't grab them sooner, but I just find something that catches my eye and I put it in my basket and it's almost always a great price. I'm also regretting not getting those candlesticks that I just saw in the view frame. And this cute little nightstand ended up being $3.99. So of course I grabbed it. I just forgot to include it in the haul for some reason. So I'm done shopping. Man, was it busy in there, but I think I found some cute items. So let's go ahead and jump to the haul now. So first up, I know you probably saw this in the footage, but it's this wooden bowl. Honestly, decorative bowls, wood bowls in particular have been just kind of like everywhere, like Studio McGee has them. But having a wood decorative bowl was really like on my need to have lifts. But I will say too, I really like the detailing on the outside and a little pedestal on the bottom of it. So I thought that was a really cool feature. So really excited about this one. This one was $4.99 by the way. I think it was a good snack. Next up are these baskets. I am in the process of trying to make a big basket wall feature one basket at a time. So both of these were $2.99 each. That was an okay price. I was willing to pay that. So yeah, happy about these. Next up, I think this one will speak for itself. 
I was very hesitant on picking this up because of the price. So the price for this was $24.99. In retrospect, like at the time I was thinking, ooh, that's a little pricey. And the reason why I say it was a little pricey is because I had no way of kind of making sure that this lamp actually worked. Now, I never bring a light bulb because I'm almost never shopping for a lamp. But I end up picking them anyways, go figure. I did, however, already test this one out. This one does work. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I was so hesitant on this on the beginning because honestly, it, it was a great buy. Next up is this adorable elephant. I saw him and I had to have him. This is my little friend. This is my little elephant. This is my little friend. And yes, that's exactly how the pandemic has been going for my social life. Elephants are just cute. I, I don't know what else to say, but yeah. Um, so cute, $9.99, a little pricey, but I still paid for it because I need someone else to talk to. Next up, now I will say, I know this is probably a kitchen item. With that being said, I thought it would be a cute little like vase with some flowers in it, like some greenery. It's just cute, I really liked this little handle, not something that you see every day, but I also, just like the speckled detailing on it as well. This one was $1.99, so decently priced for a ceramic. Next up is this cute little pot. I really liked it because of the color, and it's an unusual shape, very unusual. It almost reminds me of a mushroom. Like, is that? Is that just me? Um, yeah, really happy about this one. This was only 99 cents and yeah, I just thought it was cool. Okay, next up is this cute little frame. Thought it was a really cute frame, something that I can easily kind of just make cute artwork for and put in. This was $3.99 though. To be honest, a little pricey for this. Next up is this and it kind of was like one of those things that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. And the reason for that is because this shape for the lamp is very in. But anyways, I thought this would be a really cool DIY thrift flip. And I have a design in mind, basically because this design is just everywhere. As you can see, the tape is still on it though, so I didn't check to make sure this light works. But let's check it now. Hmm. Really happy to pick this one up. This one was $6.99. So I think for the size of it, Great grab. All right, next up is this magazine holder. I was actually really happy about this one. This one was $5.99, which honestly, I'm really surprised Old Faithful priced it that high. It's seen some better days, but I knew that I could definitely give it a makeover. So this will be a thrift flip. So I thought it was really cute though. Was happy to pick this up even for six bucks. <laughs> Next up is this little vase. To be honest, I don't even know how to characterize what this design is on this. I just wanna say like it's, um, like it almost reminds me of like duck feet. We'll just call it duck feet. But um, I really love this color. Now it's almost like a rust brown color. Very interesting. I really love the shape as well. This one was $2.99, so um, I was okay with paying that price just because of the fact that I really think it's so unique and I just really, I don't know, I'm really digging the color. So happy I picked this one up. Last but not least in this thrift haul today is this little terracotta pitcher. Now I was really excited to pick this up mainly because of the fact that I'm like, this is so cute. First of all, the woven detail on this, like unreal, like so cute. Could not say no to this, so I picked this up. So happy to add it to the collection. And this one was $7.99. So again, a little up there in price, but at the same time, I was just sold. Like, I don't even think I actually looked at the price when I when I found it. I was just like, I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this, yeah. All right, guys, that is it for the thrift with me and haul today. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this thrift with me series is something that you want to see more of, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, if I pass that five check for you, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're going to know when I post again. I have a couple of questions to ask you guys if you guys are up for it. The first question, this being a new video from me, I kind of kept the thrift with me footage a little bit short and I didn't know if I should continue with that or kind of make it longer. So if you guys can let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, would you like to see a little bit more of that footage before we move into the haul or do you think this is a good ratio of the thrift with me and the haul? So. 
The other question is, I just recently found out that I have a flea market that is a county over and it meets every Sunday from April until October, which is unbelievable that I haven't heard about this until now. I wanted to ask you guys if you guys wanted to do a come shop with me at the flea market. I'd be so up for that if that's something you guys want to see. Now, I, I will say that I've never been to this flea market before, but it could be amazing. It could be disastrous. I have no idea, but if that's something that you want to see, leave me a little green heart in the comments below so that I know that that's something you guys want to see moving forward. But I want to say thank you so much for thrifting with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!